from New York is John Rivers. Direct from New York City, the city that is loved by good-hearted Americans, visited by surly French and owned by rich Japanese. We have... <laughs> I wrote that at six this morning. I said, this is... Oh. <laughs> lawsuit, lawsuit. <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> What's your name? I don't know. <laughs> hit on the head by a bracelet. <laughs> He's never been the same. He turned gay. And <laughs> This is the same stupid bracelet said it before, not from the Joan Rivers collection. And now, oh. on to, not from the collection, and now on to a wonderful day. They have different names. We have a great show for you. They have different names, the same genes, and they're one of Hollywood's hottest father and son acting teams today. Martin Sheen and his son Ramon Estevez. <laughs> Continuing our week-long series about renewing your wedding vows. Today we have a couple who are married for 50 years and they want to do it all over again. Isn't that nice? <laughs> Plus, in living colors, bright new com comic talent, Tommy Davidson. <laughs> But an exciting first for television. Listen to this. A doctor who is going to work with our show over the next few months to select and actually help two infertile couples to have babies on their own. Isn't that wonderful? It's, it's, it's such a nice thing to do. And it is all coming up along with lots more, so stay right where you are, okay? Okay. okay. many of you know this, but there are more than two to three million American couples out there that are infer infertile. Can you believe that? I mean, the last time we had my guest on, he was talking about infertility and we received floods of phone calls and letters asking for help and for information. So we said, why not bring him back? So back by popular demand, and we mean it, please welcome the world-renowned infertility expert and author of the book, How to Get Pregnant with the New Technology, Dr. Sherman Silber. And how nice to have you on, Dr. <laughs> First of all, uh, I asked this during uh, the commercial break, and just applaud how many women out there, or men, you know, how many couples have had trouble becoming pregnant? Amazing. Amazing. Why is this, in my day, you know, you were in college, you got in the backseat of a Chevy, and unfortunately, you had to call your mother and cry. Right. I mean, uh, <laughs> It was the wrong time the of the wrong month. time. And Guess still, what? Right. Yeah. What's happened? What's happened is, uh, in the first place, human beings are really very infertile. Reproductively, we are very inefficient. Uh, if you, a human male's testicle would look like uh, an animal's testicle ground up and thrown back in. It's so, it's so chaotic if you look at it microscopically. And so humans make the lowest amount of sperm per body weight of any animal in the animal kingdom. And human females are similarly very inefficient. Now when we're teenagers, despite this inefficiently, inefficiency, See? things work well. Right. But when you get into your 20s, there's a, in your early 20s a 10% chance of infertility, in your late 20s, 16%. And by the time you're in your mid 30s, there is a 25% chance that you can't get pregnant. Uh, the normal the way. The normal way, right. So now, what do we do? 
Well, we have uh, a new technology. Uh, in the past, couples would go through years and years of just uh, terrible treatment, painful treatment, pills that didn't work, all kinds of uh, multiple laparoscopies, operations to remove uh, endometriosis lesions, and uh, all uh, pills for years that would literally put them in an artificial menopause to try to shrink down the endometriosis. The men would go through operations that now we know don't work, and uh, after after all this treatment, some of them did get pregnant, but there were large numbers after 10 years of treatment find themselves 39 years old, 40 years old, and unable to get pregnant. So now there's a whole quick way, I hate the term there's quick a, way, yeah. but the, there's a much quicker method, for example. Right, well, we, the three, the there, three are th there are three ways, in vitro fertilization, Which means gift, and zift. Okay. Now, in vitro fertilization means that you take the woman's eggs and you take the husband's sperm and you put them together in a laboratory culture media in an incubator and lo and behold two days later you've got healthy fertilized eggs Always. embryos well in the majority of cases you get fertilization when you don't get fertilization there are things you can do to make it easier for the eggs and the sperm to fertilize right. but most of the time we get fertilization then you take the fertilized eggs you put them back in the woman and uh, then she has about a anywhere from a 15 to 30 percent chance of getting pregnant from that. from that that cycle and it's it's painless so you can do it over and over and over again until she does get pregnant right. now gift is uh, an improvement in many respects specs 95 percent of these patients have normal fallopian tubes with gift you just take the sperm and the egg in the same way i'm oversimplifying please, it believe no, me please. You're, you're processing this yeah, but you, i'm very dumb so just oversimplify <laughs> to the point where you think she's you a take, moron Go okay ahead, yeah. you take the All sperm right. and the eggs you put them in the fallopian tube and they fertilize on their own and she becomes pregnant that way and then there's a 45 to 60 percent chance of her getting pregnant and again you can do it over and over again until she finally is pregnant